Now, here on Breakfast, we have been following three mums, Liz, Kim and Michelle, as they trekked 265 miles from Cheshire to Kent. They all lost their sons to suicide and they've taken on this challenge in memory of their boys and to raise awareness of the issue. John Maguire was with them as they crossed the finish line. Thank you all. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> they had walked and they had talked. They had walked and they had laughed. They had walked and they had cried for 17 days and 265 miles. But at long, long last, it was over, but worth every step. Well done, you girls. Well done. Amazing. Amazing. So glad we finished. Yeah, <laughs> exhausting, tiring, yeah. worth every minute. Yeah. Just um, thought of our boys all the way. Yeah. And we've done it for them. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Along the way, I just hope every step that we've done, that we've raised awareness now. Mm. And it, I, just, it, I think it's been worth it from what we've been yeah. getting from feedback. <laughs> we've been joined by so many incredible, inspiring people. People who have lost children within the last three months, who quite frankly still ought to be on, underneath their duvet, but they're not. They're here, they've walked with us, they've turned up, and they're part of this incredible journey, and we'll never forget them. And we'll never forget their children. Jenny. Caitlin, Connor. From Liz's home, Maidley in Staffordshire, the three mums, all of whom lost sons to suicide in recent years, set off on their walk to raise money and awareness for suicide prevention. On their odyssey, they went via Northamptonshire and London, where Kim's from, before completing their mammoth trek here in Sandwich, Kent, Michelle's home. Beautiful boy. Yeah, I know. It's a silly sausage. <laughs> Yeah, bless his heart. And in the garden of Sir Roger Manwood's school, they saw the tree planted in Michelle's son's memory. Some of Max's friends were here to support her, each other, and to recount fond memories. There's no one like Max, and there won't ever be. He was so individual in his own way, just cheeky and, like, you know, always having a laugh. And there were some times where we didn't want to go to lesson, but that was OK because the school said yeah, school that was OK. They, they understood the way that we were feeling. I joined the year later than everyone else, but of everyone, he was one of the only people that actually really included me in anything, which is why I got... why I ended up, ended up with you guys, and, like, it's just... It's yeah. all come together so... He's got like, a way of doing that. Yeah, he's got a way We don't, haven't lost him just because we, we've got Michelle. It would obviously be the most amazing thing to still have him here, but we've all agreed it was his time. It was his time, wasn't it? He's an angel. <laughs> Their endeavours have inspired everyone who knows them. Seb's brother, Alex, says his mum has done both boys proud. It's an immense feat, and um, me, me and Seb are, are beyond words. Yeah. Hello. Hello. She's done him. Um, she, she's done him immensely, immensely proud. Every single step. And so have you. And so have you. I know. Okay. This was a tough journey for you as well, sweetheart. Well, she's uh, yeah, she's Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> she's Wonder Woman. There's no doubt it's been physically tough. Liz's feet held together by her walking boots. Kim's bursting out of her trainers. When the blisters and infection became too much, Kim and Michelle were forced to take time off. But there were always three mums walking, thanks to subs from the Maidley Mums Army, who supported the walk at every stage. We just did a bit of walking, didn't we, really? 60 miles, um, nearly. Standing yeah. in, because <laughs> the mums were injured at times. So, um, yeah, we helped out. It was an absolute it's pleasure. Yeah. Really enjoyed yes. every step of We've the way. We've met amazing people, we seen have. amazing places that amazing. we wouldn't have done, and it's raised awareness for those three mums and those three boys, and that's what matters. And, how, and all the mums' army. And the mums' army's been amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing experience. Yeah. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Yeah. Can we all get a mums' army? I think everyone needs a mums' oh, army. Everybody, don't they? everybody yeah. needs yeah. a mums' yeah. army. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout the past 17 days, other families affected by suicide have joined them to share experiences, often still raw, but with great honesty. We met the two Jamies, brother and best friend to Hayden, Kim's son, in London. A tough day for all, 
as they visited the place where he died. And he was in their thoughts at the end as they applauded Kim's achievement. What would your brother have made of it all, do you reckon? I think he, he, he would have been overwhelmed. He would have been really appreciative of it. And yeah, no, I think he would have... Uh, I think he would have loved it, especially the champagne part. He would have been, <laughs> would have been all there for that, and yeah, no, it would have been good. Oh, it's perfect, wasn't it? The weather hold up for them and everything. It was great. I'm delighted for them. They must be, they must be delighted themselves to finish it. Following the success of the three dads' walks, the three mums were brought together by the charity Papyrus, and it's the work it does, especially with the phone service Hopeline, that will benefit from this challenge. They were strangers united by the most tragic of circumstances, but are now great friends, determined that other families should not suffer as they have. And they're united forever by hope. Oh, what a bloody journey, girls. What a journey. Yeah, what a journey. Uh, Same time next week, yeah. <laughs> Sod off. John Maguire, BBC News, Sandwich in Kent. Oh, well done to all of them. Brilliant. I love that idea of the army behind them to yeah. fill in when needed. Yeah. Don't bet against the mum's army. I'll tell uh, you that for nothing. The actual three mums are going to be here tomorrow morning, maybe with their army as well. With yeah. Reinforcements. But it'd be, be lovely, lovely to, to see them again. Have them on the sofa to reflect on that and find out what they're going to do next as well.